I'm sorry. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> that wasn't a plan. No, I mean, I'm just high. Hi. I'm just a little tired. Hi. I'm a little excited. Yeah, honestly. Okay, so you know what? You go ahead and, oh, first of all, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Imani's mama. My name is Imani's mom. We're back. We've been gone for two weeks. Yeah, I was tired. I need a break. And um, last Monday was Idris's birthday, and we celebrated his birthday at this time. Oh, yeah. It was Idris's birthday. I'm like waving to Idris. Idris is upstairs. <laughs> um, so it's, yeah, season two. Did we say that? Uh-huh. Okay, sorry. I just, I I just, I, have a, I got an exercise bike. It's not a Peloton because I was like, I'm not spending two thousand dollars on an on an exercise bike. But I was really tired today, and I just I couldn't really do a whole lot today. But I did get on my exercise bike for fifty minutes, and it five zero. Yeah, five zero, That's and it was good. yeah, it was yeah. So, but the best part now is that I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat tonight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so first of all, hi to everybody who just said hello. Hi to everybody who said hello. What's up, Kodos Tropicals? Um, what's up, Sean Upshaw? And what's up, Alicia and Lisa and Morel? Yeah, happy 2021 to y'all. Happy um, New Day. I felt like uh, oh yeah, on, you're excited. About, go ahead. On January 20th, you know, from the Wiz, can you feel a brand new day when they were all dancing down the yellow brick road and kicking the heels up high. That's how I felt. For what? I mean, because of what? Because at 8 a.m., the ugly monster man left to head to oh, the, the oh. poor state of, of poor Florida. Yeah, but I wanted more. Like, he he slid out, which was not really like it. Like, I wanted to really see him, like... I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to see him get on the little helicopter or the plane, but he, you know, he like he was just like, oh, whatever. Like, I'm gonna slide out on real quick. I'm like, no, that's not how you get to do things. And he now did have some kind of a send off. Yeah, but we didn't get to see it. That's what I'm saying. Like the inaug with the you know inauguration, because you know he's a hoe. I no, mean, you that's know why? why. Because all the networks who before had to kiss his butt, they, they didn't want to show it. They kicked him. They were like, get them, get them out of here. Okay. And I everybody mean, was in place admiring the um thinned out crowd at the inauguration, which actually looked pretty good. I liked I liked seeing it the way they did it. It looked and nice. All of it the looked fashions cold. and they this it wasn't as cold as Obama's first. That, I mean that it was, was the cold, but honestly I, went to. I kinda like everybody like Bernie San Sanders was memed um last week. And honestly, like, I was kind of like, why wouldn't y'all do this, like, virtually? Like, why are y'all outside? Like. There's such a thing called tradition. Well, yeah. Okay. There's such a thing called tradition. There's also such a thing called tradition. And um, there are very major sponsors for, um, that usually will advertise during the Super Bowl that aren't doing it because of, because they're bucking tradition because it's coronavirus. That That was my whole thing. Super Bowl tradition, I don't think is like. <laughs> the way, no, the like, way these people in this country act lack about football. I'm not a football fan, so I'm like, I don't really care. But I like to see the the, the old president fly away, especially when it's somebody I don't like. Okay. So, um, and then what else happened? Um, everybody was apparently wearing purple or something, like in honor of. You, unity, unity. No, no, no. Well, that's, I don't know that's, if that's what that's it was. What it, but that's what it was. Kamala Harris was wearing purple, right, as an homage to Shirley Chisholm, who that was her color when she ran for president of the United States. Oh, okay. So that wasn't that born was. yet. So I don't know. Right. Well, that's what that was. She's Jamaican. That was a nod to Shirley Chisholm. But then that, but then Michelle Obama also wore like a purple shade too. Well, I'm saying. Those black Reagan women. Reagan was impressed, but I voted for Shirley Chisholm. Oh, big up to Biz Markey. I hope right. you're feeling better. Black hope... black women. The 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 word had gone out that purple for Shirley Chisholm, just like and you know they said that the pearls were all these networks and stuff were saying that the pearls were AKAs. Now I I got you know I'm down with my AKA sisters, but the Deltas they all wear pearls. It's not limited to. I don't really care, one. but I know I that's know something you that you but... are really into. So. Okay. Anyway, Shirley um, Chisholm is my grandmother's first cousin. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. All right. I went to college with one of her nieces. 
Yeah. Um, oh, Michelle Obama's hair looked really good, at, per usual. Um, her blowout was very nice. Um, was it a blowout or a weave or what? I mean, not a blowout. Like, well, I don't know. Like, no, I don't think it was a weave. She usually gets like her. She usually gets blowouts, from what I understand. Oh. And they're like they're always really nice. So big up to Michelle Obama, who is you know the true queen. Um, her husband was there. I mean, I like him too. I love Barack Obama, but I'm more so like, what's up with Michelle? Um, big up to J Lo. <laughs> who was acting a whole fool during that song. Let's get loud. Yeah, I was, I mean, I like, no. <laughs> just like, girl, no, okay. No, no. I mean, she looked nice and everything, well, but. This, this wasn't Yankee Stadium. I mean, it. I, I was just like, girl, okay. Um, I didn't see Lady Gaga sing. I did. Anything. I heard it didn't sound good, but I mean, it right, but it's it, a hard song to sing, she, I'm, honestly. Her dress was, was slamming. Her, yeah, her outfit that, was really nice. Was it looked warm. Which you know, it was a whole lot of fabric. It was a lot of fabric. Um, so Kojo's Tropicals asks, Do you know any self confidence building exercises? Um, off the top of my head, no, but I will tell you something that I have been doing. I didn't do it today, which is because I'm just a little tired and I was really tired and I just um didn't get to, but I've been meditating like almost every day. Let me tell you. So last night I got kind of irritated, but you know what? Like, okay. I, so, okay. First of all, big up to Headspace. I really like the, the thing on y'all Netflix? app. Yeah. The Headspace Guide to Meditation is on Netflix. And then the app Headspace, I downloaded to my phone and I joined it. Right. It's nice. Cause they have little, like, they have like, you know, like 90 minute mixes. Like it's like, it's very, you know, it's very, um, Comprehensive. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very comprehensive. So anyway, what I'm saying is, so I read this one. So every day they'll do an intention. And one of the intentions was uh, like this past week was like, oh, you know, honestly, like, you know, you can meditate for yourself. But then they like the dude, his name is Andy. Big up to Andy. I like your voice. He was like, um, you know, meditate. Meditation is also good for, you know, other people. And I got irritated last night. And you know what? I put like I closed my eyes and I got into my um into my Q zone and then I put a little like you know like um force field around myself and then I was fine. So what is your Q zone? <laughs> it's it's a long story. Uh, but my well, Q you said it like we oh, all know. Q well no, it's it's a joke. It's a it's a joke. There's a show on Netflix called I, I Think You Should Leave, and um there's a skit on there that's about like it, it's a long story. Anyway, um but yeah, but I did that and I was like, you know what? I could trip, but I'm choosing not to. And so I was really proud of myself. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so to answer your question, Kojo's, <laughs> Tropicals, to answer your question, um, self-confidence exercises, I don't know any off the top of my head, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that when I meditate, like it, it like, there are things that occur during the course of the day that really could get on my nerves. And that can sometimes like zap you of energy and also confidence. So, you know, when I meditate, it really just, you know, it really just reminds me that like, first of all, I did something for myself today. Second of all, can nobody phase me? And third of all, like I'm always going to be on some inner comps, you know? So can I ask the circumstances for which someone wants self-confidence boosting exercise? Well, we always, I mean, I know that we come upon this question sometimes on this show and you and I kind of have, we're kind of like look quizzical about it because like- We wreak self-confidence? Yeah, like yeah. it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard for me. That's that's kind of why I answered it that way. I don't really, um, I don't really, I don't know. And then Sean Upshaw asks, are self-affirmations a useful tool for building self-confidence? I think so. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like hyping yourself up like, like, okay, bitch, you can do this. You can do this. Okay. Like, okay. All these, all these holes out here is whack. Like, you can do this. That's what I say to myself. And then, you know, I go and do what I got to do and I smash it. I don't think <laughs> I've ever done any of those things. 
I mean, I honestly, I do it for fun. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I don't, that's why I'm asking. No, that's like, yeah, that's what. But but you gotta understand. Obviously, a lot of people do have issues with confidence. Yeah. I'm, I've, I'm learning that because I'm like, I don't know, just like big yourself up and like go on about your day. But I know that obviously that's not the case. So I'm not trying to sound flippant. It's just not my lifestyle. The one that I, it, you know, when I was so, sort of going in the beginning stages of my career, the thing that I found helpful was that one where when you're in front of an audience, imagine everyone in their underwear. That doesn't want to do anything. Well, it did to me because I, you know, I'm sitting in, I'm in New York and wherever and I don't, want, I don't want to see people in their underwear, I don't first either, of all. But it's kind of, it, it's kind of, it, Disarming. Me, it, it was funny. It was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, like I'm the person where like, okay, you know, when like um designers will be like, like interior decorators will be like, okay, so here's a swatch of like this little tiny color on a square. Imagine it all over your wall. I'm like, I can't do that. You got to draw that out. Like I can't superimpose everybody in their underwear by, you know, no. It's kind of x-ray vision. No, it's, it's weird. Oh, yo, speaking of um, x-ray vision and other just, you know, psychic abilities have y'all been watching wandavision oh yeah wandavision is so good yeah and it's good because you if you watch the show and then you go and you do the re watch the recap that's what idris showed me where is it it's on youtube you just pick one. Oh, okay L listen they break it down there are so many things on there that like you like the third episode was really good, but then when you go back know. and watch, you didn't watch it. I don't. I watched all of them. I don't know which one was the third episode. The what one that came thing? out on Friday. Oh, I saw that one. That's what I'm saying. So the one that With just all of a sudden the baby. Yeah, two babies. Yeah, dope. Not everyone knows that. Oh, and that that's germane to the plot, like. Well, kind. I mean, well, I mean, I I didn't know about anyway. Whatever. So. WandaVision is really good. Um, TP asked that I see the Salt and Pepper movie. No, I didn't even know it was coming on. It was it on Lifetime? Was it like VH1? I did see something about Spinderella. Spinderella was mad. Um, she, she which yeah. is kind of, which is super messed up. I mean, she won well, she won in it at all, like at all, like yeah. none. Well, I don't. I I saw a pro. I saw the promos, and and it looked like they had her in the promos. Now maybe there was no storyline about her, but. You know, I mean, it's messed yeah, up. Yeah, it is. They because they could, they should have done something. I know they had two ZJs, and I know they had a DJ before Push It, like their first single, obviously. But I mean, Spinderella been in the mix. It's, I mean, I don't know. Oh, and then Wendy Williams movie is next uh, is next weekend. I guess meaning this weekend. Sean Upshaw said the Spinderella was in the film, but she was poorly portrayed. Oh. Okay, I mean that's weird. I don't understand that. That's kind of whack. What do you mean, Wendy Williams movie? There's a movie about yeah, her? Yeah, we talked about it. It's it's gonna be on Lifetime. I probably didn't pay attention when we were. Yeah, I haven't that. really. I, I've I've been I've been like working and doing all kinds of stuff. I haven't really been, and I've just been watching like stuff on my own. I haven't really been keeping up with stuff, probably because I haven't been on Twitter as much. Because now I remember why I'm never on Twitter. It's just not. It's not my thing. I have been on TikTok more because I I think in a former life I was like really into crafting. I'm not doing all of that, but I do like to watch people make stuff. Like this lady yesterday was like, "Oh, you take seven like regular like um, you know, brown like lunch bags, like paper bags, and you glue them together and then you cut like one two and one two and you pull it out and it turns into a snowflake." My mother used to do that. Maybe I mean, that's why you're into crafting. My mother used to do stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I do, well, because people, when they craft, they're like, so just get your glue gun. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, if I have to go to the store, I'm not doing all that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not. So I'm not doing all that. I Okay, so, Brandon, I am on TikTok. I'm not, like, I'm under mm -hmm. my, you know, my, my, me, myself, Imani, my regular account. I'm not, I'm saying, like, I'm not, I'm not TikToking. Like, I can barely get on Snapchat and know what's going on. I'm like, these children. When, um, I, when I was little, on, on occasion, I'd get one of those Barbie dolls, which I never played really with dolls. The head of the whole doll. I had a whole doll, but I never really played with it. But what was interesting was because my mother was a seamstress. Yeah, she would make clothes. Right. She'd make clothes, and then she'd take a tube sock. Yeah. And you cut the toe out like, mm -hmm. like it would be like a boat neck. Mm-hmm. 
you cut the toe out and you cut. Yeah, she did. Yeah, sleeves, she did that with me too. And it would be a shift dress, like a knit. Yeah, shift. it was nice. And then she, and then you could take uh, a, a string or a cord or something like that and yeah. a ribbon and make a belt. But mm -hmm. th that that's what for me the crafting part of life was about. Not ju just because it, I could watch my mother make outfits. No, it's, I mean, I just, I like watching, I'm like, oh my God, you took those brown paper bags and made a whole snowflake. Like, that's exciting to me, but like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, did we speak about the Bernie memes? We touched upon it. Um, you know, Bernie looked, <laughs> first of all, Bernie was very, was abiding by all the rules. He was socially distant. Yep. Very um, subdued. He was very subdued. I mean, he was like, I don't really even want to be here like that. And since I am here, I'm... Like, that's what was bothering me. I'm like, look at all these people running around all close to each other. That's not cool. They didn't have a mask? No. Oh. Um, wait, did they? Uh, yeah, they did. But anyway, okay, they did. But still, like, it's not, like, apparently now doctors are recommending or the CDC is recommending that you double mask. I didn't see no double mask out there. They did have a mask. Bernie was just like, you know what? <sighs> Whatever. Like, y'all go ahead and do your little inauguration party. I'm going to be over here. I think that people were so elated by the events of the day yeah, and about seeing real people not on a screen. And they did have um, masks that they, you know, plus they knew the cameras were on, they were being captured for posterity. Yeah, so, I mean, you know. I mean, here's the thing. Am I happy that um, Trump is going? Yes, very. Um, and even though I want to be like super optimistic, I mean, I am happy that like there are adults now in the room, so to speak. Um, you know, I, I have this, I was talking about this this morning. I have this issue with Democrats, which is basically that I'm sure you guys heard about, um, AOC went like they, there was a dude, this white dude who was going to go to the Capitol and assassinate her. And she had spoken a little bit on it when, in, um, I, she came out with the video the next day on Twitter and she was like, well, I can't really get into it because of security concerns and all this other stuff. Um, but that's whack and it's really scary. And I, I guess what I'm saying is as somebody who is always voted Democrat, um, you know, I'm not a pushover and I just I, like, yeah, unity is cool and all of that. But like at the same time, you got to let these people know like what's really up. So what's your alternative? My alternative is like they need to like, yes, we need unity, but also like GOP got to be punished. Like y'all got to be punished. OK, because mm -hmm. that, because here's what got on my last nerve. It was like, oh, my God, we didn't know that was going to happen. I'm like, Trump said it back in December. Like, it's going to be a wild, a quote unquote wild day when I have patience. OK. And these are people who, like, have done some really egregious, like, dangerous things. And they start to do a inkling of, of what they may have done leading up to their crime. Shut you shut it down. Shut it down. There's no room. There's no room. There's no wiggle room. So I'm just like, please don't come at me on some like, oh, I can't believe this happened. I'm like, what are you? Are you dumb? Like, are you blind? Like, what is like, what what's like, this is stupid. So I have some observations here. Okay. Right. One is that. Um, That's right. Hold the, on. Sean Upsaw said that unity only works when accountability is present. I agree. So uh, on the day that they announced that the investigation of Congress was going to be headed by General Russell Honore, yeah, the, uh, I was yeah. high fiving. Yeah, my right. man. So, so the brother, this black man. Yeah, he's he's from like, New Orleans. He's Creole, look like he is a black man from New Orleans who is the person who they sent in to straighten out the the, the crazy yeah. aftermath of Katrina. Yeah, FEMA. Um, so that's one. So he's going to be the one going through Congress. Um, they should turn him loose on the U.S. Army, the Marines, the Air Force, the Navy, because they just uh, said that of of all of the um, those arrested, 50 percent of them are former military. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. And I think that the simplest way for them to guard Washington and to have guarded the inauguration. It's to bring in the fruit of Islam. Well, just bring in all the black people. It, you, saw, you saw that dude got like a lifetime position basically with Kamala Harris, that black dude who basically saved the whole day. 
You mean the the Capitol Police officer yeah. who they named acting acting assistant sergeant at arms? Mm -hmm. And I was like, so when does acting and when does assistant go away? <laughs> you know, he didn't get nothing for life. Maybe when she moves into her real house. He got acting assistant sergeant at arms, right? And 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 the Senate that sounds very honorary. The Senate would be dead if not for him. Oh yeah. So I'm still back to all they had to do was go through the National Guard and pick out nothing but the black people. Pick out all the brothers you and sisters. You heard what they did in the National Guard, though. I'm saying pick out all the brothers and the sisters and put them in charge of guarding because there, there wouldn't have been a white supremacist getting by them. And there they, were black they, people. There were black people at that riot, though. They two. Mm -mm. Did you see two? I saw a bunch. I saw a bunch. I saw one person up in the Capitol. I seen like the crazy. Looking, I seen yeah. like ten people. No, and so and these people look like honestly, like what surprised me is they look like regular black people. And I was like, oh my, here we go, well, I, should, Ice Cube. Uh, yeah, if I had known, I would <laughs> I would do a screenshot of their faces and post them. Well, but I'm saying that right now they put in charge Lloyd Austin, Secretary of Defense, a black who? man. Oh, okay, I'm like, who's that? He's a black man. Okay. And I'm telling you, if there was ever a time when you're trying to fight domestic terrorism and white supremacists, okay. look for all the black volunteers. Okay. Yes. One, two. Okay. Here's, okay. So last week on my podcast, Imani Say to Mine, I hope you guys have been listening. We're on season three. Um, we, me and Cam, my friend, we was talking about, um, political psychoanalysis. And we talked about the Capitol, right? We talked about a bunch of stuff and, you know, Cameron, I mean, she means, well, I love him. I love her, but she was like, well, we just need to like, you know, we just need to like, you know, get together because the voices that are really like positive outweigh the negative. I'm like, girl, that is not realistic. I love you, but here's, bye you guys. I said, but here, I'm like, but here's the real thing. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a, a really quick anecdote. So, not to my own horror, but I'm really good at medicating people, okay? <laughs> now, I mean, like, ser seriously. And I'm saying that as somebody who found pharmacology very daunting initially. But the reason why I'm good at medicating people is because I've asked them and I evaluate for what is the underlying cause, okay? If you're anxious, that's fine. I'm not going to just be giving you, you know, like control medications and Ativan and all this other stuff because so your anxiety can come down, but then you might not be able to sleep. What I'm saying is this, the issue at hand, which has always been at hand, is that white supremacy is always at work. This country, this society, this culture is post-colonial. We have all at various points played into white supremacy. Some of us have stopped some of us have, to have acknowledged our role and don't want to do that anymore. But until like, yes, do I want Trump to be impeached? Of course. Do I feel it's a fruitless gesture? No, because I don't want him to get no perks afterwards. But here's the thing. Until this country wants to deal with slavery. They don't want to. Right. So I'm just like, if y'all don't want to, if y'all really don't want to deal with the underlying issue, right, then like all of this is stupid. I'm not saying that we can't, all of what is I'm saying logistics, like, 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 the like, oh, um, unity and let's, you know, like, let's get together and we need to stick together and all well, this other stuff. Platitudes. I don't want. Well, no, I'm saying I like, I don't want, I don't me. want platitudes. Right. That's what right. I'm saying. I don't want platitudes. I just, I want for like this, this needs to work now. Like, see what happened when we let y'all just go ahead and do whatever you wanted to do. And that's why you, we can't like, that's why honestly, I'm going to say this again. Also, I'm going to say this right now. Big up to Amber Ruffin, who I've been watching your show. You're really funny. She's a writer on um, Seth uh, Meyers' um, um, show, but she has her own show. And she talks about this. She was basically just like, listen, um, until you all are ready to deal with this for real, for real, like, what are we doing? Like, this is like this. I honestly feel like my time is being wasted. Well, your time is being wasted. Right. In most instances. I mean, this whole, you know, it's fruitless to, you know, um, go after him. And why are we doing that? It's um, not fruitless. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it I'm up. I'm not paying for I'm him. bringing it up. In the, in the, in the, in, let's do a corollary. So if Obama had told the fruit of Islam and Black Lives Matter, y'all come, you know, we're going to have a rally. It would be very effective. 
They they would have bombed D.C. Whoever was in D.C. who was innocent, they'd have just been chalked up to to the cause. They would have bombed D.C. if they could get rid of that whole bunch all at once. So I'm saying, no, no, you know, we got to now is the time for us to not revert to. Yeah, but, you know, oh, we need to like can can we all just get along? The answer is no, we can't. So then we have to legislate. Yeah. And we never did. That's like, that's the whole point. We never got along. Like you have, like, you know, what used to kill me. Like I remember seeing this on South Park when it, when um, I used to watch it a long time ago, like it always confused me when it would be like, oh yeah, the museum of tolerance. I'm like, tolerance isn't exactly like a good thing. <laughs> it's like, I tolerate the fact that like, like it's a little warm in here and I want to turn the heat down. I tolerate the fact that like I was tired today. Like it shouldn't be about toleration. It should be about like acceptance. Yeah. Endorsement. Yeah. Collegiality. Right. And it's not that. No, it's not. I'm just, I mean, and okay. And here's here. This is another thing that I want to say. And then, you know, we can maybe move on. on. What kills me is how you going to cheat? And lose and get mad. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm like you. I'm like you played yourself. Like you. You lost. And not only that, you like you lost terribly. Like you. Like you. You played yourself. Um. Also, you know what, black people. I just want to like you know let all y'all know. I hope that maybe we can come upon an agreement here soon. We need to stop helping these white people out. What does that mean? Stop um, giving them a pass. Stop being forgiving. No, like what was I? I was watching. I was watching something recently, like like a TV show, and I was. I mean, and I was like, here we go. I'm like, it, it always it always makes me laugh when like not laugh in a in a ha ha, but laugh like oh my god, like whenever I see a character in a movie who's like a black person, like like just like just unwittingly, like oh my god, I have to save this white person. Like unwittingly. It, I mean, but they they're just like so like hot, like they go so hard for it. No, see, for me, that takes a whole. That's what I'm saying. Inside my head. Now I'm now look. That, I will say that is not a reflexive action on my. Not at all, and part. I understand we're talking about fiction, but what I'm saying is this: Yes, black people. Every time we go out and vote and we do the right thing, like on January 6th, when the Georgia Senate race was determined and those raggedy white people lost, yay. Um, I guess what I'm saying is we we do vote we vote the way that we're supposed to and we and we show up and we need to show up and we show out. Um, but I'm just I don't know. I'm tired. I'm irritated with these people right now. <laughs> I am. Did we have a function on here where we were supposed to be able to interact with folks and that's not happening today? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I don't know if Brandon had enough time to set that up. I'm oh, okay. gonna turn this heat down because the heat's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Maybe so, or maybe not. I think you're mostly irritated all the time. I'm, not, I'm actually not irritated. I'm actually in a good mood. But I think I just hold on. I need to get some grapes or something. <laughs> hold on. Uh, girl, what you watching? Every time we try to make progress, white rage comes out. Well, I'll approach it from this Why way. Why are you so mad though? I'm like, I'll you, approach it you from this way. Out. Um, you you know, want some uh, I can wait. We're the Im- we are the reluctant immigrants. We are the immigrants who we didn't actually want to come here. We the involuntary immigrants. That's it's a big difference between voluntary and, and involuntary. That's right. Even amongst those of us who are black. Right. And so from the moment we got here, we were deemed inferior. Now, just because somebody says, well, that's not nice. What we're seeing is what we're seeing is the aftermath of not prosecuting. I mean, remember, there would be lynchings of black people and and families treated it like going to a barbecue. Right. Right. A barbecue state fair. It was like if they had, you know, SUVs and station wagons. It would be a tailgate party. I mean, so, they they probably do the same thing now. It's black people getting lynched left and right. 
Sean Upshaw asked, what do you both think of T Rump? T a ho ho. That's it. I don't, you know. Um I can't wait for New York to destroy him. Oh my God. I'm so hyped for New York. I, I really mean, wanted to know how petty New York was gonna be. Yeah, okay, petty. No, That's no, no, I'm saying I world. wanted to know if Trump was gonna get served at like 12.02 <laughs> um on January 20th. But also big up to this woman, this white woman, I forgot your name. She um she's handling a lot of the um rape cases, the alleged rape cases. And she is the person who I believe brought um oh my god. Oh, with same sex marriage. She 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 like I think she might have argued the case that eventually went to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, play with me. Watch what happened. <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not happy that Trump is gone. I'm just you are happy that he's gone. I'm happy. No, I'm saying I'm happy. I'm just saying that, you know, I mean, you see that, you know, my my like outward attitude right i just don't want everybody to be like oh my god well they didn't go away i mean they're, they're not gone they're just not in the white house right now yeah but people i guess what i'm saying people be like trump's trying to do this whole thing where like oh remember when y'all y'all raggedy people signed up for my raggedy emails if you donate some money he's gonna like don't people gonna donate money he's gonna save that take that money and pay off all his little debts brandon says if you'd like to where did it go? Hold up. If you'd like to, I guess, be on live. If you'd uh, like to join us on screen, screen please, please visit, visit streamyard.com. Don't read it. Who put it up there? Put it up there, Brandon, so they could see if they'd like to visit. Anyway, because it comes, it, it's it's he's put it on here as a uh, in the chat. Yeah. Oh, Hank Aaron's eye. Oh, real quick, I thought about this last night. Nicole Aaron, if you out there, girl, I should have hit you up when your father-in-law died. My bad. Um, I've known Nicole Aaron for a long time. Nicole Aaron's married to Hank Aaron's son. And um, I... Um, you wanted to express your condolences. Yes, I would like to express my condolences. Big up to you. I mean, big up to you, Nicole. I mean, in general, but I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. I know that's a lot. But he lived a great life. Sean Upshaw says Larry King too. Hi Shazik. And then hi Shazik. And then Kojo's Tropicals. I'll put on my face and join next time so I can show you my philodendron. Oh no. Yeah. I need to talk to you, Kojos, because I need to get some plants in my house. You know what's been really interesting about living in California? <laughs> I'm very against fake plants. But these fake plants out here, listen. They're really nice. Mm -mm. They are. Considering, I've seen some really nice fake plants. I was like, oh, look at you out here. I feel about fake plants the same way I feel about fake Christmas trees. Okay. Well, whatever. No. Um, I've got some amazing rare, but a lot are worth more than diamonds. Right now. Okay. I mean, I need to get with you. Oh. The long song, PBS Masterpiece Theater, at the end of Jamaican enslavement premieres Sunday, January 31st at 10 p.m. Okay, I got to watch that. What am I eating? I'm eating grapes because I'm hungry. I burned like dumb calories like 90 minutes ago. Oh, there it is to join us on screen. There you go. There it is. Okay. Listen. Dwayne Wade celebrated uh, his 39th birthday with a supreme performance from Beanie Man. I didn't know that. Me neither. So, um, and then Gabrielle Union surprised him with a romantic beach, beachside bonfire, bon, bonfire, which was topped by, with a surprise by Beanie Man. And he performed his classic, Who Am I? As they watched from a distance. That sounds nice. That sounds really nice. Um, Lil' Kim said that she is cool with, she's good with Tiana Taylor being in her biopic. And I think that's a good choice. Big up to Brooklyn, big up to Harlem, where Kim and Tiana Taylor are from respectively. 
Um, I have difficulty looking at her face. I mean, we all have difficulty looking at her face, but I mean, she's, listen, what do we call that when people do such things to their faces to the point of distortion and they, they don't even see that they look crazy? Body dysmorphia. Oh, yeah. Like Michael Jackson had it, you know. But I mean, look. Do white people have that as much as black people do? Yeah, you ever seen them, the white people like on those plastic surgery shows and like, I fashion my life to look like a Ken doll. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, well, okay. I mean, it's your business. No. What's that say? Carolyn Washington says $500 for a fake fig tree. Oh, Shazik no says she saw a fake fig tree for $500. No. That's like, I mean. Depending upon how big it is, I guess. Yeah, but I'm not buying no. That's ridiculous. Oh. Also big up to Shrub Hub. I. And that thing you sent me. Oh, about designing your yard? Yeah, they came back with a design that looked really nice. So. Are you going to do it? I think so, but I have to, I need to price some of these things. So anyway, this is Lee Tyson memoir, just as I am drops tomorrow. Cheryl Lee said, what channel is that going to be? I'm guessing all oh, this is lifetime. I don't know. How old is this Lee Tyson? I mean, she looks amazing. 90 something. She looks amazing. And honestly, <laughs> say. Tyler Perry, you are dead wrong for putting Cicely Tyson in that movie. And have in the um A Fall from Grace, which was filmed in three days and looked like it. And had Cicely Tyson running around like, <laughs> like a like a black grandma version of Gollum. <laughs> it was a man. It was so bad. <laughs> She's like, that's that's my house. I was like, oh, what is this? No. Don't do Cicely Tyson like that. She was married to Miles Davis. She was in um, that's that movie I like that always makes me cry when I see it with Richard Pryor. And they had to drive them badass kids to a family's farm and Roberta Flack sang on the soundtrack. Bust and Loose. I love that movie. I have the, the album somewhere in this house. I love that movie so much, y'all. Cicely Tyson is 96. Yeah. Dr. Maya Angelo is getting a, a doll. Okay. All right. <laughs> but tough finger. Do y'all remember that skit from SNL when David Allen Greer was, <laughs> was hosting? <laughs> and he, he, he did this skit where she was uh, reciting poetry about Butterfingers. It was good. Anyway, what about what else? What else are we talking about? Somebody said about fake plants, but plants are designed to help with the cleanliness of your indoor air. Yeah, but some people... And oxygen. And some people talk about it like it's just decoration. Well, yeah, but some people, for example, like, I mean, you see how popular, like, wigs and, like, extensions are, and you can't... So much right, fake shit. Right, and you can't deal with it. Just, and for some people, it's like, well, this is so just ornamentation. Fake. I can't be putting all that stuff in my head. It's very it's very mm -hmm. weird to me. Um, Yeah, Cicely Tyson was married to Miles Davis. Very much so. Okay. Um, I guess I'll say it. I'm not going to say anything about this, though. Um, the one-year anniversary of Kobe's death is tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say. You said. Well, okay. Anyway. Um, what time is it? What Why do these kids fight over property? Why can't they share? Who's fighting over Who's property? Who's fighting over property? Wisdom strap up ask that question. Share. Okay, I, I don't I don't know what kids were talking about, but you know. Oh. That could all be resolved early if the parents designated who was gonna get what. Oh, big up to Idris, who's taller than me now. I don't like it. He's taller than you, and he doesn't come to be on the show anymore because he got business to take care of. He up there. You know he's been playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're such a nerd. I love it. <laughs> I wasn't really into Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid, but um, oh, Shade is in the room. Oh, okay, my bad. Oh, where is she? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hi. 
I was gonna wear that sweatshirt. Oh my god, I was gonna wear that. <laughs> but now she's stuck. Uh oh, she's Am stuck. stuck. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh my god, I was gonna wear that sweatshirt like like for real. It's just the cozy one, right? It's like you know it. Yeah. It's it's a good one. Um, I just wanted to say hi, and then I wanted to show you my plants. I know. Oh, okay. okay yeah. So would house. you like Would you like a little tour so I can what show you? Tour? Where are we seeing a tour of her plants? Her plants. So I got. I've got. Oh my god. There. And then I've got some plants over here. Oh my god. And then I've got my little trees in my office. Wait, is that the fake tree? baby trees? Baby trees. None of them are fake. Okay, good. I, then I'm, I'm, feeling, then yeah. I'm good with you. But I was looking at that one today. It was five hundred dollars, but it was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, sometimes I like I add, just to add a sometimes little flavor. Like she said no. And Paula, you know I, I a tree this year. I got a fake Christmas tree because I wasn't trying to go out there. No, I'm like, I'm really listen. I want to get. Have you seen those upside down Christmas trees? You're not gonna do that. First of all, I guess I can. You know what that feels like? No, but but no one, you don't live here. If anyone could do it though, Paula, she could. And it, it would feels, be yeah. it feels like three sixes. I don't know why up that upside down Christmas trees uh, think make me think of three sixes like like it's an abomination. I want a I want a flock tree. I always wanted one. She denied me a flock tree when always. I was little. I always denied I'm like, her this one. Is, I'm, I'm like, okay, we could really be out here, but you want to be, you know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> flock trees, or the, they, and they they take the tree and they put fake snow on it. I well, don't like. I, think it's I nice. don't like fake. I don't like fake stuff. I think it's nice. I did have little. I bought some poinsettia this year too with little fake. It was it was a little annoying. They had like the little fake snow on it. I was I was like, this is. A I bit like much. I like those. It was, it was a bit much. I mean, I thought they were abominable. Like when I lived in a cold climate, but now that I don't, I'm like, oh my god, look, do like, it. Men who designed stores decorated a ladder like a Christmas tree. It was bomb.com. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say hi and be like, what's up? So I don't need to stay on here um, forever. Um, did her, um, house. Oh, yes. Guess who did my yeah. house? Tell her. That's why I got these dope. Um, Wait, Dave and Mitch. Both of them? Was no, it both of them or Dave? I Dave. was going to say because one of them we don't deal with anymore. Okay, but we're not. Well, okay. Yeah. I, when you asked why when you said that, I was like, wait, what? Dave. Da no, yes, David. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. No, David. Yeah, he cooked this I can see it's lovely because he did this house. He did my house. He did our house on the vineyard. Yeah. He did Imani's last house. Yeah. I. That's why I was. And he did, we did a, um, a whole basement and he and Mitch both flew out and like hooked it up. But this one, we all, everything here is online. Literally everything yeah. except thing. So he hooked me up. Right. Good job, ladies. All okay, right. Cool. I'm so okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Look at the yeah. girl with you watching said, what happened to Mitch? We ain't talking about that. First of all, you're the one who brought it up. I was trying to be on. You, well, you brought up his name. I was yeah, like, but you could have you could have played it off like mm -mm. he was like. Mm -mm. Well, mm -mm. we weren't like that at first. So. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But then uh, Shazik's home does look so pretty. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. I'm really into gray, obviously, as a neutral. I love gray. I think more people should embrace gray. But I'm kind of getting on like a khaki kick. Anyway, so gray and tan. Well, gray or tan. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, gray or tan. Mm -hmm. Hold up, let me see. Ashanti and Keisha Cole did a versus last week. I didn't watch it. Did y'all watch it? I don't. Free Trey songs. What happened to him? I don't know. He sings like a goat. He sounds like a goat to me. I don't think I've ever heard him, but I remember. One of the, one of your little cousins in New Orleans when uh, we were at the jazz fest was wanting tickets to it or something like that. Probably, um, yeah. And I think I got tickets, and I was like, "And who was that?" He sounded like a goat when he sang. I mean, I'm not going to say that he doesn't have nice songs, but I've I've never been like, "Ooh, I want." You know what? I really want to listen to a Trey song song, a Trey songs song. <laughs> He's attractive though, but I mean, okay. Um, what was I going to say? What does it say? We need a house tour. No, we don't. 
Mm-hmm. So I so okay if y'all go he if, was arrested for hitting a cop yesterday. Ooh. Okay, big okay. up to you, right. Trace Longs. When I had to do the house tour for you know Bravo stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> if y'all was sitting here, I wanted to, that sounded like an earthquake. Yeah. So anyway, when I so we all had to do like house tours, and I would kept you know like basically pushing back like oh you know what I died I can't do a house tour. So anyway, um, if you if you guys if you guys want to see me fully acting up, go to BravoTV.com and look at that my house tour. I was so irritated that day. <laughs> I don't do house tours. Yeah, no, I'm just like, this is my house. Great. Like, I mean, that, then that's kind of also how I felt about like, they were like, well, you know, we want to like see you guys like in bed, you know, having a conversation. I'm like, no, that's not that's happening. In bed. Like, I'm a black person. I don't do that. Like, no. Um, what's that say? Oh, Trey Songz also has multiple sexual assault issues to deal with. Okay, we're well, gonna we're gonna st- step right away from that. Yeah, I mean, I I, he's know. not. A, I don't. I really don't care know about nothing about that one. I don't really care about Trey songs like that. So, does anybody else want to come on? How come? How come you all are not? Uh, Maybe not up to everybody is ready. Like, like that happened when I was at work on a Zoom call, and one of the doctors was like, "Well, we why is everybody's camera off?" And people were like, "Cause I'm not ready for all this." Like, I'm not, you're not trying, like, you don't want to see me right now. People got kids. This one woman had, like, babies. She was like, I'm not doing all this with you on, on the phone. Anyway, um, what what else happened? Or what you, oh, the verses. Okay. Did Keisha call Teddy Pop out? <laughs> That's what I heard. Somebody, somebody. No, I heard her titty pops out or something. I heard she was late. I heard she was late. I ain't hear nothing about. Okay, first of all, first of all, now <laughs> was Ashanti doing her little signature scoot on the floor? Her little love me, and then she like scooted. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Keisha Cole was dumb late. I heard that. Did her titty pop out though? That's what I need to know. Um. Oh, wait, let me tell you all this really quick story. It was really oh. funny. So back when I used to live in New York, I was in med school and my best friend from med school, her name is Darnielle. Big ups to Darnielle. So we went to this party and it was like downtown the village. And so there was this girl who, I mean, she was cool, but like, it was like every time we ran into her, it was like, she would always bring up the fact that she was like Oprah's cousin. Okay. This a girl. This girl, right. I d I don't remember her name. I mean, she was like, she was she was cool, but it was like, girl, okay, calm down. Like you're not Oprah. And even if you were like, I'm trying to get into these drinks. So <laughs> so we're at this party. And so me and Dark Yellow off to the side, like watching people, you know, watch people like dance around and stuff. And and <laughs> so Oprah cousin, she was all like, uh, 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 and I was like, oh my God, his titties gonna pop out, his titties gonna pop out, his gonna pop out, and her titty popped out. <laughs> <laughs> I was rolling like I was. I you no shit. I did. I was like, watch, Ew. watch, watch. Oprah because of her titty go pop. I watch, 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 watch. Boop. I was. Like, hey. But the question is, was it even worth it? Yeah, because I was like, maybe you should stop telling everybody that because no one really cares. Mm. But oh, there's a guest backstage named Alina. Okay, big up to Alina. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 I just wanted to say that um, I watch Married to Medicine LA and I love you, ladies. You know, you brought oh, like good. a type of professionalism that wasn't in Atlanta to me anyway. But <laughs> no shade, no, no shade. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to say hi. I'm originally from New Jersey. I'm in Charlotte now. So, North oh. Jersey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where are you from? Um, Newark. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Great. I don't really know that much about Newark. I, I did a rotation there at um, the Beth Israel. Huh? Beth Israel? No. No. It was, uh, it was at University of New Jersey, something that whatever. Uh, honestly, okay. I don't remember. I did. I did. Okay. My first, it was my first rotation, and we, I had to do 
part of that rotation, I had to do pediatric oncology, and it was so sad. Sad. Oh Aww. my god. But but anyway, big up to Jersey. So people from New York don't say I'm from New Jersey. They say They're I'm from, from New York. York. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm always getting a side eye when I say that. I'm like, okay, don't judge. Okay. Do you, say, do you say Newark or you say Newark? I say Newark. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, I just want to say to you, say your hometown proudly and then pick your oh, chest yeah. up when you say it. And there's somebody to give you a side eye. I'd be like, what's what exactly. well, the I mean, Newark is, is, is no is joke. Good. Right. Yeah. 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 When you live there, you can live anywhere, just like New York. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Newark, I was like, I was driving from home and I was like, I don't know. When I was in the nation of Islam, it was like, oh, them folks from Newark are rough. rough. Man, let me tell you, one time my aunt came. Yeah. Oh, right. the <laughs> they came from the south and they had a rental car and um we went to sleep we woke up the next morning their car was gone so, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so my sisters knew the homeboys from around the way and they told her what the car was i said yeah so oh yeah <laughs> What was missing? Did it have did it have tires and wheels? No, and they just took it for a joy ride. They didn't mess it up, thank God. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I mean, frightening, but I mean, that's nice you got the car back. <laughs> that's a car too. They would have been like, um, well, we folks from Harlem, we, we knew what Newark was about. We'd be like, right. well, you will stay on that side of the Hudson. You'll just stay right over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I've been the most I've been to Newark is to go to the airport. Mm. But yeah. But that, well, I mean, that's, that's funny, sad well, to say, I'm in Charlotte now. I haven't been back in about six or seven years. So yeah, you know. <laughs> is, it, is it snowing where yet? Where you are? No, we just had a lot of rain today. Okay, mm-hmm. it was snowing in Malibu over the mm-hmm. weekend. Wow, that's a freak of nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was no. It was hailing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Woodland Hills. Yeah, but it was wild. Those were all sections of LA. Woodland Hills is kind of right near, yeah. but so it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you guys too. Oh, yeah. I love Thank you on Monday. Hi. <laughs> yes. All right. Nice to All meet right. you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> She's cute. When before I came out to LA, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Before I was like maybe ten. I didn't think Malibu was a real place because it was Malibu Barbie. I was like, oh, that's where Barbie live at. I know it was a real place, but it I is. don't even know what to say. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't think it was a real place. I mean, that's like somebody in California saying, "I didn't think New York was a real place." I didn't. Honestly, I really didn't. I didn't know what Long Island was when I was a kid. I was like, I don't know what that is. But over there, <laughs> and then I lived there for a couple of years, and then I left. Yeah, when 9-11 happened, you were living on Long Island. Yeah, I on was, Long I Island. Was, I was glad you were living out there. So you could have clean air. And Glen Cove. I had clean air. I was highly stressed out in med school. Um. Anyway, that was super fun. Thanks, Kodos Tropicals. Um, okay. Let me see something real quick. Something ended with the weekend. What about how is Jay Z in bed with the NFL and we ended up with the weekend for the halftime show? I don't want to say on the weekend. I've said that ver- various times on here. Obviously, I am, you know, a middle aged black woman. You know, I'm not really all up in these streets like that. I don't understand the weekend. I don't, I, I'm like, I, you cannot sing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't understand um, what all the bandages were. And then was that really his face when they pulled the bandages off it? He looked know. like somebody with that body dysmorphia you were talking about. It was very what do you scary. Mean? What was wrong with his face? He had big cheekbones. He looked crazy. Oh, like he got injections to make his cheekbones look big? I don't know what he did, but for all the performances, he was always having a Band-Aid and, and oh, stuff wow. around his head and all kinds of stuff. And, and he just looked weird. Hold on. Um, Let me do this. What are you doing? I just want to look at the picture. Oh, this bloody face at VMAs explained. No, that, that was before. He 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 has recently unmasked him. So you got to find a recent photo. Oh, this. Yeah, that. Ew, what's wrong with his face? He looks like that lion woman. Remember her? Remember oh, that? I woman? was just talking about her. 
um, I was just talking Freaky about plastic surgery. her name. I was just talking to um, Alicia and Ronaldo. We were talking about her. I think um, Jocelyn Wildenstein. That was it. Yeah, I don't, I don't she was cute back in the day, but oh my god! But I don't understand what the I don't understand why he doing. said he, he. It was for the performance. Well, then what's up? What's wrong with his face? Right here, though. Hold up. What's it say? Oh, prosthetics. Oh, he had prosthetics on. Then then he turned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We can do what you got to do. He's Ethiopian from what I um, read. He is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with, with this. Um, I don't know. I'm too, <laughs> okay. You know what? This is getting weird. <laughs> These pictures, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, yo, it's five fifty six. I'm about to get a COVID test down the street. You are. Yeah. Oh, a test. A I test. Had, I had my first injection. Yeah. I didn't have any pain, no swelling, no none of that. And 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 the nurse, by the way, when your time comes, and I know all of y'all are far away from getting it, but when the time comes, don't she tense said, up your arm. Just let your yeah. arm relax and let it just hang completely right. down. Not don't even bend it and put it on your thigh. So that his says so that the um injection doesn't like like um what am i trying to say when you give when you give injections it's when it ends up in your arm i forgot what it's called and i'm tripping right now but anyway you don't want to tense up because it's gonna like be all weird this woman asked um will you attend jazz uh j the jazz fest essence fest the next time they're held i don't think so no it's too soon not, not if if the next time is this year i will not because I'm it's not too, ready it's for that. Soon. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going into any big crowd like that. And my friend Deb Langford said, "Did I miss? Did I miss you two in your Kamala masks?" Well, I didn't bring my Kamala mask, but I'll bring it next week, and I have one for you. She gave me one for you too. Oh, nice. So we will we will model our Kamala mask. But I do, in fact, still have on my Kamala shirt. Um, I got a nice mask today. It's caramel colored. It matches my skin. <laughs> and um. Jazz Fest is in October. Yeah, probably they had to move it back. Oh, I mean, honestly, I used to go to Jazz Fest and work Jazz Fest so that I could eat because they have a lot of like Where really did you good work. Jazz Fest when I you were in college. Yeah, I worked oh. Jazz Fest like for two years, and then um, and also because I would get in free because once you're in, you're in. So anyway, if 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 things get safe again, Jazz Fest. Back in the day, used to be a whole lot of fun. I'm not sure. I remember this lady walked through, like through um, Jazz Fest. She was completely naked, and you know, true to form, the NOPD were like <laughs> taking pictures with her. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, and of course, nobody arrested her. No, it was like, oh, okay, girl. Well, whatever. You live your life. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, I hope y'all had a uh, had a good Monday. I'm going to, like I said, go get a COVID test down the street and then I'm going to cook. So. And I am going to get in my car and go back to my house. Yeah. And and watch the recap of the article of impeachment being delivered. Because I'm like. I don't know. It's what, I mean, I saw I saw some of it. I was like, this isn't as climactic as I wanted it to be. Like, it, it needs music. Like, it needs a soundtrack. <laughs> it does. It does. It needs, it's like, like it needs like a Marvel, like, and then here comes Nancy Pelosi, and then she hold up and it's like, and then she'd be like, okay, the arts of impeachment and it's blah, 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 and blah. And then she turn around and it's like, I think that would be dope. The nine managers of the impeachment process, when they were walking through the big hall in the Capitol, uh, I could have I could have used Star Wars. No, that's actually what I was thinking. Yeah. Sean Upshaw said impeachment playlist. Um, Crystal Newton. I have, to think, I have to think of I have to think of Wait, some I have some new stuff for you, Paula. What new stuff you got for me, sister? Ow. Okay. It's six o'clock. Uh, we'll give to okay. My honey's gonna bring them home. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then one of these days when you when we get them, we're gonna I will show I'm gonna wear. Okay. I'm going to say, and this is my stuff from. It was very nice seeing all you guys. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was, and it was nice. 
Bye, Shazik. It was so nice seeing you. And Alina, it was very nice meeting you. And Terry B. Thank you for yes. the information. Oh, you guys have a, a reference We're to done with that now. Yes, we don't know what that means. Anyway, y'all have a good um, mm. rest of your uh, week and stuff. And we'll see you next week. And wear masks. Bye.